Hi guys, so in today's video I'm going to be showing you a really cool product. The product is really, really simple. It's just an iPhone stand. As you can see here, it's a very stylish, clean looking stand for any iPhone or actually any iDevice. You can put an Android phone or anything else of that size onto the stand. It looks really nice and it has a bit of a Mac stylish look to it. So um, I've just got this and I'm really, really excited about this product. It's really, really nice. Out of all the electronic gadgets I have right now, this seems to be the one thing that I just can't stop like looking at or fiddling around with. It's just so cool how it works. So let me show you guys. It's basically just a, a square, you know, rectangle rubbery grip thing, but it's not, it's not actually sticky. So you can put anything on it, your finger, you can touch it. It's not sticky, it's just like a rubber substance and it grips onto your device and holds it. And it's really, really cool how it can spin around 360 degrees and has, well, basically like a 180 to even a 270 degree on the upward vertical spin. And the hinge is really, really nice. It's made of all aluminum. And as you can see, it's, it's really stylish. Um, it's got a little hole at the back so you can put your uh, charging cable through like I had done. For some reason it has two shiny little sparkly things. I don't know why that's there, what it's for, but anyways, it looks kind of cool. So at the bottom, it does have a grip. So when you put it on your table, it's not gonna damage anything. I got this for around $20, and now there's a company in the United Kingdom that makes it, and you can sh uh, get it from them online, and it costs about like 15 pounds or something, and then you can ship it to wherever you are. I live in Canada, so it took a fair bit of time to get here um, also it was worth it though because there's no stand out there in the market right now that looks like that and it does the same thing so let me show you how it works when you actually put on your phone on a vertical way okay so let's say you have a stand like that um, all you have to do is place your phone onto it and as you can see it stays and it looks really really good you can notice that it it holds it really really nice so it's not going to do anything with the stand I guess if you like even if you turn it upside down, your phone stays onto it. So it's really, really protective in that sense. It's not a cheap stand by any means. It's got good quality. Okay, so I guess the main test when it comes to an iPhone stand is how nicely can you use it with it being on the stand? Is it gonna move around when you're touching the screen and typing? So um, the cool thing about this stand is it's very sturdy. So you can touch the keyboard and it's not gonna move. It's completely, you know, stable in the sense that it responds to your touch properly, doesn't move back. It's completely on your desk without sliding back or anything. The way it's made, it's great. And you'd think that it'd be heavy because it's made out of aluminum, but it's actually not. It's fairly light. You can pick it up and you'll see that it's really kind of light. Second cool thing is for, I guess, people that use your phone, um, to make review videos or if that you guys do, uh, you have a YouTube channel or something like that, you can actually tilt your phone up and then horizontally or whatever you you could even have it like this and it's really stable i guess it's more stable when you go like this so you can actually type on it and it doesn't go down like this so i'm just going to test this out with my ipod touch saying that it has a bit of a curved back and it basically says that it works for all devices so let's just check it out oh there you go so no difference it works really nicely the ipod's there it's not going anywhere i could do anything with it uh well, yeah, it's it's not going anywhere. It's sturdy, I can type on it, do whatever. So that's really cool. I guess now we're, I'm just gonna show you guys that it also works on other materials. If you have your phone in a case, you'd be able to put it right onto the stand without worrying about taking it off. Now this is, I'm gonna show you with my iPod Touch since it has a black case on it. As you can see, it just sticks. So I don't know what this material is, but it works really, really nicely. And as you can see, there's no like uh, stickiness on the material itself. So the stand works really, really nicely with um, everything. Uh, but if you have a Mac set up at home with Mac monitors and stuff, it'll really, really work nicely because it'll go together really well. As you can see, my MacBook Pro in the background really uh, matches with it since it's the same aluminum color. But, well, I guess my monitors do too. They're they're all just like regular Samsung based, but it looks really good on my dad. So thanks for watching my video guys. If you liked my review on this product, give the video a thumbs up, add it to your favorites, and subscribe to my channel for more videos. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Hey guys, so today we're gonna to be taking a look at six of my favorite uh, Cydia tweaks for the new iPhone 4S. A lot of these tweaks are just for Siri, in fact. Uh, there are a few that I 